So right now we've got the uh, Motorcraft uh, 820S. Um, there's a lot of uh, reports on BobIsTheOilGuy.com forums and across the internet right now that a lot of these um, filters are tearing and just some other Motorcraft uh, filters in general are having issues. This one came off my 2009 Ford Crown Victoria. Uh, it's got about 10,000 miles on it. I forgot exactly which oil I ran at the time, um, but uh, I was going to cut it, uh, cut it open uh, without editing it to see how the media held up. Um, I have manual focus on right now, so bear with me. Give you a view of before and after. If you can get that or see that, no damage to the outside of the can. I believe if I'm reading the date right, I believe this filter was made uh, February 13th of 2018. Um, so if that's any significance to anybody, let me get back here. Okay, I'm going to start cutting it open and see what we have. I've actually had this filter for a while uh, and I'm almost I'm going to do another oil change have the same filter on uh, so I'll also post that one and see how it held up and I'm not sure yet what I'm going to put on after the oil change That. has been stored in the house so it's been climate controlled um, let me try to get some light on this big thing I'm after is tears in the media so that's primarily what I'm uh, gonna look for These actually feel pretty uh, strong, the pleats. Um, I mean, I'm pinching that and it's not uh, wanting to tear.
Looks like excess of glue there. Yeah, it's soft. I don't know. I believe some online may have torn, but I also think uh, there's probably several copycats out jumping on a bandwagon. I don't believe every. I'm not saying everybody's um, not telling the truth, but some some of it's. Uh, I think a little excessive. And I never use uh, in my car 520. Uh, so this was either 5W30 or 10W30. Um, always run a synthetic. We'll get a screwdriver or toothpick and try to spread the pleats a little bit and see if I can see anything. But so far, I don't see any tears. There's hardly any, um, I don't see any stretching either of the rubber uh, that forms the seal in the on the bypass valve. A lot of times, if I've noticed in filters that look like they go into bypass a lot, um, this rubber right in here will look wavy. Um, I could be drawing a conclusion there, but um, it makes sense. So I'll be right back. Need a screwdriver. Hopefully, this focus turns out. One or two, like I always keep my filters inside. One or two of some of the filter issues or storage issues. Um, Probably going to pull this until the um, media breaks just so I can see. I'm tugging on this pretty good and it feels pretty solid. I mean, definitely after cutting this open, I don't have any fears on what's on the car right now. And um, Yeah, luckily I saw that the camera only does uh, 10 minute chunks of video at a time. Um, so now looking at the rest of the filter real quick. Uh, a little bit of excess glue right there. Um, a little bit on the back. It's not going to cause any issues. And I drain back valve. No issues here. Soft, pliable. Inside the can. 
spring that holds everything together. It was definitely thick. Just got some. Doesn't look like the cleanest. It's also coming out of the filter. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel. I have more. I've uh, been bad about getting things posted. I'm going to have a filter off of a Honda Pilot. Uh, one of the smaller ones. I'm not sure the exact model. It's a 05 Pilot. Um, I've got a Dodge Ram uh, with 4.7 liter. have a filter coming off it. And I'll also soon have another one off the Crown Vic. Um, but overall I feel this held up fine and it's uh, reassuring um, based on everything I'm reading online right now about this filter. Um, but it doesn't look that bad to me. Okay, I'm back. Uh, curious. I uh, just cut one in off of the hacksaw. Uh, this is what I'm getting. Everything looks fine so far. Uh, just wanted to pull the pleats um, apart. Let's see if anything can be seen then. There we go. There's the top. And let's see here. I'm just making a mess here. So here's the crimp, metal crimp on the back. This still feels like I'm really tugging. This paper feels pretty durable. Past the crimp yet? I think so.
Okay, here's the crimp coming up. Okay, here's the crimp. You have to try to tear this. Paper is definitely not weak. Well, hopefully you enjoyed.